Um, I'm Donna Hardy from the gate here in Kinston, the gate of Lenore County. The gate's been here for about nine years. It started, it was actually a bingo parlor. Um, and during an event called a Racing the Lines, there were several shootings during that time. One of the shootings was in here. A man was murdered and some um, people got together, spearheaded by Greg Smith, who was the, um, at the time, the police chief here. And they wrote some f several grants through the, um, with, um, I'm, and I'm not sure exactly the proper name of it, but was, well, it was through um, situations with gangs that would work with faith-based organizations. And um, that's how we started and we became funded. Um, the city actually owns the building. Um, and we uh, have a lot of city functions here as well. But what we have here is, we have a mission, it's called to offer a hope and a future to the youth of, of Lenore County through Christian values. Because in the core and the being of everything we do, it's all about Jesus. Um, we do all sorts of things here, but our center and our um, mainstay is, is Him. Because if we don't have Him, these kids don't have a hope. So their hope has to be in Him. Um, we have kindergartners through 12th grade. But we've kind of started thinking out of the box in the last three or four months and realized that when they turn 18 and they're getting out of school, that's really the beginning for most of them because they're they're totally lost at that point. They don't have parents who say, you should do this or we prepared you for college or you're going to have a vacation or you know what you're going to do. So they're still floundering. So we offer K through 5 and we have what we call the Little Gators and we have tutoring for them on Mondays and Wednesdays. And then we have a girls' Bible study. We have a boys' Bible study. Then we have open gate Friday nights where 6th through 12th graders come. And then we have um, a program we just started um, partnering with Lenore Community College. And there are several industries in Kinston that need um, skilled workers. Well, the workers are not skilled. So what they're doing, they're going to Lenore Community College. One is a welding class where when they finish, if they score well enough, and they should on their exit interview, at least 85%, these people will go to work at Crown. Crown's making 64 trucks a day. They will go from making nothing to making $15.30 an hour, which is over $32,000 a year. We've got six that are starting in the first group. Five males and one female. The one female, is this is a great story, she's from five to six years ago when myself and another lady, Lee, um, we've always been here and taught here. I've always volunteered here since almost the beginning of it. Um, and then I was on the board as secretary and then I was on the board as chairman and then the Lord called me to do this after our last um, director left. And um, so we have Koa, she's going into it and she's always wanted to do something like this. This has been her dream. So when we put those six on our gate van to send them to Lenore Community College, I felt like I was sending my children off to school. Um, we also have a thing called here we started. We wanted to teach especially young men about becoming a man, what it meant, everything about becoming a man. So we decided to how could we do that to serve the community and teach the boys a skill and bless everybody. And we came up with boys to men lawn care. And what we have is the boys Bible study they come together and they go out in the community and they help senior citizens, the disabled, and the veterans who have no means to pay a lawn care service because we don't want to take money away from a lawn care service. For those who can't afford, we go out, we cut their grass, we manicure their lawns, we cut trees, whatever we need to do for them. The boys do it. We pray with them, we pour into them. And then our girls come alongside in the girls' Bible study, and we'll go in and we'll clean their houses, do what we need to do inside. And later on this year, we're going to have a banquet for the people that we've been serving and let them come to the gate. Our kids are going to cook a meal in the kitchen that um, we recently put in here. Again, teaching them to give back and also teaching them how to serve because when they learn how to serve in a kitchen situation, they can get a job as a waiter or waitress. So everything we do is kind of you know, has several different um, things to it. Um, but the Boys to Men Lawn Care has been an amazing um, opportunity for these boys. Um, they have been blessed. Um, 
I sit here and I, I, I talk about the needs. I had somebody ask me the needs the other day. They're so great. Our biggest need probably would be operating budget overall because we're not funded by anybody um, on a regular basis. Um, we we are um, we have churches, some churches that you know send to us on a regular basis, but we don't have people, individual people that give to us on a regular basis. We depend on donations. We have a gatekeepers banquet once a year that we have, and the flood is really um, not. It has to be postponed. It's usually in October, which it should have been this coming Thursday night. But obviously, we're not worried about a gatekeepers banquet in the midst of all these people suffering. So we've put it off hopefully until December when we can do it then. Um, but the gate also we have five five days a week we have a GED class here from 8 to 12. And we're kind of the hub for that, Fuller North Community College. And then two nights a week from um, 5.30 to 8.30 we have GED classes. So we try to pour in everything we can to give every opportunity we can to these people. Then we go out in the community and we just go out and what we call treasure hunt. Just like the people that I took you to see, Charles, that's how we met those people before the flood. There's so many hurting people in this town. There's so much poverty in this town. There's so many needs in this town that we try to do whatever we can for the people to see Jesus in the gate, in us, in the city, just to feel like they're part of something, but most important, that Jesus loves them.